Just like these donuts, when it comes to men, there are so many choices. But once you finally found one, it begs the question, what do men want? My name is Yinka Aladaran, and today on Real Talk, we're at Krispy Kreme. I've got a couple of my friends waiting for me, so let's get started. Okay, guys, they always say that women play at sex to get love, and that men play at love to get sex. Is this true? Huh. <laughs> it's possible. Well, let me say it again, because it can be kind of confusing. So women play at sex to okay. get love, and men play at love to get sex. I think it definitely happens. Because um, a guy would obviously be lying and say, okay, I love you, I love you, just to get sex. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And a woman that's looking for love would be thinking that, okay, if I give him sex, he'll love he me. He may love me. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Okay, so the reason why I ask is because today I want to talk about what men want, because I don't know what your people want. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. I'm, I'm, I'm like extremely confused about Look at it. That. And, you know, Stephanie, I don't know. Do you know what men want? Maybe I'm the of only woman does. that doesn't know. Well, I feel like everybody has like your different things that you want from different people mm. so a guy can come up to you and want something that is totally different from what he wants from me mm. so you can't really huh. tell what but i think generally a guy just wants to be happy he wants to be happy wants everybody to be wants loved. to be happy yeah mm -hmm. regardless of what women think women think that um like you pointed out earlier um some women through go through well get they think they can get love through sex you know mm -hmm. what i mean uh, and so the um, best way to a man's heart is through his underwear. But no, no, no. That 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 brings up the argument that you know the best way to a man's heart is through his underwear. But um, truth is, men want to be loved too. They want to be respected. They want to be cared for. They want to be. Okay. Treated right. So wait guys, this is sounding to me like gender roles. So when mm -hmm. it comes to gender roles, what do men what do men typically want? What do you and this is twofold. Mm -hmm. What do you want us as women to do and what do you want yourselves to do? Because I think a lot of women sometimes, we, I, I mean, you're a bad girl, so I wasn't always talking, <laughs> just hold everything down. You know, you have to do everything. Mm -hmm. I have to be my own engineer and I have to, you know, so what do you guys want from women in terms of gender roles and what do you expect from yourselves? Um, I'll start by saying that, again, there are no hard and fast rules. Um, um, one man's needs is another man's calamari. Some, so, some men will want a mother, some other men will want a partner, some other men will want a best friend, some other men will want, you understand? Mm -hmm. So it's, it's not that, I can't say what do men want and across the table give you a definition but that you can to go something. to the bank with. But there has to be but, something. But, however, like mm -hmm. I say, I, 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 and that, that, this is me just giving like, you know, what so you I'm, want. No, I'm just no, no. This is me saying, do not quote me. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. Exactly. But, I'm just, but, but, but yeah. however, <clears throat> men want first and foremost a woman who is a support system. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. First, especially in the world today. Let's be honest. The world today is, is crazy. It's ridiculous out there. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So a man, every man wants a woman. I'll speak for the young, the average upwardly mobile guy, wants a woman who is a support system, someone you can okay. talk to easily. A woman who, and this is going to get me crucified. <laughs> does, <laughs> yeah, but I'm going to say it, I'm going to say it anyway. A woman who does not, number one, like, for Are you me. Just say Okay, okay. Let, 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 let me say this, let me yeah. say this, let me say this, let me say this. A woman who, as much as possible, hmm. does not pick him apart for his weaknesses. Mm. I don't want to use the word okay. NEG, okay. but does not pick him apart for his weaknesses because mm. truth is, women have their weaknesses and men learn to live with it. Yes. Okay. I'm I coming, I'm coming. Wait, let me finish. Let me finish. To clarify. Yeah, no, no, no. You get to your question, but let me finish. Okay. Men have their weaknesses. Women go on and on about it. Women have their weaknesses. Okay. Men should live with it. Mm -hmm. So let me say, let me say, let me oh, say, off, off the right. table, off the table, off the table, I would say, Back to that argument, that age old argument. My money is my money. Your money is our money. Mm. I, I'm not understanding what's the problem. Okay, it's a Nigerian thing. So, <laughs> <laughs> it's a Nigerian thing. So women would say, in, ma in a marriage, a woman, oh. women usually say in a marriage, my money is my money. Right. But you, the husband, your money is our money. Right. So that, that, these are part of the things I'm talking about. So I'm talking, 
Don't pick him apart for his insecurities, his issues, his weaknesses. Oh, so don't, his, so you don't because you, he sometimes, his masculinity. Because sometimes you have your weaknesses that he has to deal with. Deal with. Mm. Okay. How would you guys like women to communicate to you? Just subtly. Subtly. Okay, okay here's, here, let, me, let me give you an example here. Two different women, two relationships, two different men, two different women, like two relationships, one situation. She had told him before, and I said, I want you to be judging this. She had told him, or he had promised her, I'll buy you a car. Mm -hmm. And then she goes, oh yeah. And then every day comes back from work, oh, you've not bought the car. And he goes, ah, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll get to it. I'm sorry, there are things I'm juggling and blah, 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 blah. And then he comes back again, oh, you've not bought the car. Oh, you've come back here, oh, you've not bought the car. And she goes on and on and on. And then one day she's like, you know what? She just locks up and she says, I'm going to show you Pepe. I'm going to treat his, his mess up, whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, and then she just locks up and starts to act weird. Now the other woman, we tell him, oh, you promised me a car. And then he goes, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I promised you a car. I'll, I'll come to it. I'll get to it. That's stuff I'm dealing with. And then she keeps quiet. And then every day she subtly keeps passing him the message. She passes him a car magazine. Mm -hmm. She'll put it on uh, the mm -hmm. sports channel when they're showing cars. You know, so they're subtly passing it. And the guy's getting it. And then the funny thing is, as men, these quiet messages, usually, the soft and quiet messages are the most effective. Women don't know. Okay. Yes, exactly. Women so don't know, like we get it. He's telling too much of our secrets. You like, 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 <laughs> like so we get it. Subtle. This song, quiet messages yes. are the best. So this man will buy his wife a Range Rover, and then yes. this one will buy his wife a Toyota. Just get off my case. Exactly. Hmm. Okay, okay, interesting. And Message. <laughs> so it should be subtle yes. in our yes. approach towards yes. you guys. Yes, especially when it comes but to things I, like But can I ask like you a these. question, though? When women are subtle, mm. men say that we're conniving. So True. where is the line between mm. being subtle and just being manipulative, like just you guys like subtle. to say? Just be subtle. Just be subtle. Well, what's the difference? Because some even, women might think even, subtle. Listen, listen. There's nothing I find more offensive than a woman who is being overtly manipulated. Mm -hmm. Even if you want to manipulate, please, auntie, be subtle. Exactly. So we should be subtle in our manipulation. You understand? Yeah. Please, it's please. Because honestly, when I notice that you're manipulating me, it's insulting. <laughs> Why do women drive men crazy? Because it seems like both of us are not no. really understanding or, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or really Wait, getting it. On a positive side or negative side? Any yeah. side. Because it seems all like around. we're all around. <laughs> Why do we seem to... You know, there's a way that a woman can just speak to you and it just tricks you in a certain course, type of way. Of so mm. why why is it that you guys think that we maybe aggravate you a little bit or maybe we frustrate you? Perhaps that's a better word. Mm -hmm. Why do why do men think women frustrate them? I think one number one thing is when a man is feeling like he's being emasculated. Mm -hmm. Men need to feel like men. Men okay. have to feel like men. And if a female does anything or says anything that's just Took him in the side that's, that's you know really taken away from his things. manhood. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. but do you think that like we're trying to do that? You might, and you might not. But exactly. nobody cares. You're doing it exactly. Anyway. That's it. <laughs> well, okay, can you hear me? Because I'm even thinking about it, right? Because when you were talking about mm -hmm. this whole you know car situation, mm -hmm. whatever, my, my the first thing that popped into my mind is. And this is not to be rude, but why would you tell me that you're going to buy me a car if you don't even have the funds ready to buy me the car? Because to me, I'm like, that's driving me crazy. Oh, that's it's, it's an analogy. Now yeah, you're, picking, you're picking it apart. The yeah, analogy. Yeah, but, but since she's the, picking it apart, we can delve uh, into it. Exactly. And we can say, okay, he goes, like, because as a, man, mm -hmm. as a man, he doesn't want to say, okay, I don't have it right now. Mm -hmm. He likes to feel like the man, oh, I can provide for my woman anything she wants. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to say, okay, I don't have it right now. But maybe he's saving for it. Exactly. You never know. Maybe he's even borrowing money for it. You never but no, but he would just say, okay, I got you. So it's obviously in the back of his mind. But if you are now trying to, but um, but Mark bought a car exactly. for his wife, All those things. that now just puts him back like, mm. wow. And then okay, the walls so come up. Comparing him to his peers. Exactly. 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 Those, those kind of things. things. But I mean, if you know that um, a woman is going to do that to you, why put yourself in that position? You wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. How you would get you know? into it in the first place. Okay. That's, the, that's the downside. You, you wouldn't exactly. Know. You don't know. Like people end up showing you their true colors it's not like something i remember like when i was kind of single mm -hmm. and i was trying to figure out okay how do i know if he's into me how do i mm -hmm. know you know and then it's like you know we women we kind of have like our tricks mm -hmm. you know that you know that we like mm -hmm. to tell us tell us pray tell pray tell so we have our little tricks and i always wonder how do how do men know if they're not into the girl so that we can adjust our tricks because mm -hmm. we don't want to be using things that are not working Hmm. Ice, you want to take that? No. <laughs> <laughs> How do men know they're not into the girl? Hmm. How do you know you don't like a guy? 
Okay, so I can typically tell if I'm not interested in the guy within like the first five seconds. Like the first sentence that he says to me, I can I can kind of tell. Mm -hmm. So okay. how do men know when they're not into us? And what are the hints that you guys try to give us so that maybe we're blind and maybe we're just not seeing it? I say, get to ask you. Want to take this one? <laughs> how do men know that they're not into you? I mean, it's all in the body language. Yeah, I don't know how yeah. women struggle with picking up men's body language. For, 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 for a species that argue that they, they are very complex and they understand us because we're so simple and this is the way. It's weird how women will say, oh, how do you? Yeah. It's weird. It's in the body language. If a man doesn't like you, you can tell. It's in his body language. He's not... He's, so okay. because we are raised a certain way, you know, because we are, you know, like I'm saying raised a certain way, we are not a woman. A man can a woman a man can walk up to a woman and a woman will insult him and say, "I don't want your type. I don't deal with the carry your day and get out." Mm -hmm. And the man will go and he'll say, eh, "On to the next one." Mm -hmm. But if the reverse were the case, the woman will be very, "Oh my God, I, I hit on him and he she will go crazy about it." You know, because of the way we are raised, men are raised to be gentle men to women, especially when the women a woman crosses the divide and becomes the hunter. I'm not the hunted. Oh, so we should chill. No, okay. no, you're missing my point. My point is not that you should chill. My point is when a woman is into a man and the man is not necessarily into her, a man is raised to pedal down, be nicer, be cordial. Be cordial. Oh, okay. You understand? Uh -huh. So when the woman assumes the position of the hunter, it some men find it uh, amusing, some mm. find it cute. So you guys mm. like the hunt? Uh, what? You live for the hunt? Hello. What is toasting? No, no, not hunting. I mean, for, for me, I, mm -hmm. I've never been attracted to the hunter mm -hmm. because it, it takes away, I think as a man, it's part the of thrill. sport mm -hmm. and thrill mm -hmm. to, mm -hmm. hunt to hunt sport. and to have you, yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I'm liking the vocabulary. Yeah, 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 I'm, I'm I'm He's being honest. I'm, I'm, okay. I'm, spilling, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm talking too much. I'm not a player. Okay, so it's a part of the no, story. No, definitely men like that, like, mm -hmm. just to know that, okay, I can say this mm -hmm. and I get her. Mm -hmm. You know, that's where pickup lines come mm -hmm. from. As corny and cheesy as they mm -hmm. are, you just say, okay, let me try it on her. Mm -hmm. And it works. And you just do it for sports. So guys enjoy the hunt. Mm -hmm. So when the woman becomes a hunter, it's like, okay, what do I do? Can <laughs> I say something? Mm -hmm. Some guys don't like when they, they do all the work. So what happens? No, I mean, there, there definitely has to be like, okay, where you're sitting, where I'm sitting, we want to meet here. In, in I'm going to do yeah. this. I'm going to do this. I'm mm. going to do this. But in order for me to know that you're interested, I need to see take, that you're coming. Take a coming few steps, yeah. A few. Forward, yeah. You know, okay, I call you every day. Then one day I might just decide intentionally, let me not call her, see what happens. And if you calls don't her, call. She calls back. Rather. Yeah. So it's, she but calls do you guys back. want us to do the hard time? Like, I, I know a friend that has this fast rule where she'll give a guy her number and he'll give him her number, but she won't call for like three days. Uh. And kind of see, do you guys like those type of games? Should we continue? No. Depends ways? on the man, but I don't think so. Yeah, I no. think not. So we shouldn't front. We shouldn't no. Front. Okay, so if you call, I should pick up. Definitely. Yeah. Okay, so we talked about signs, how we know that you're not into us. How do we know when you are into us? You, feel, you will know. You definitely no, will I'm know. No, I'm tired of this. Oh, you men always say that. Okay, <laughs> let's let me, let me, let me, if you're not let feeling let me, it, you would know. Let me, it's not really let, me, let me share a personal experience with you guys. So mm -hmm. there's a guy, you know, mm -hmm. I met him. It was nice. What's his name? I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> he was nice. He was. He was. You know. He was blown away. Apparently. Mm -hmm. And then a few months after, we didn't talk at all. Mm -hmm. And then I traveled to the country that he lives, and we saw it was nice. It was calm. It was cool. And then I left, and it was back to no Zero. talking. And then next thing you know he sends a very emotional message oh my goodness i can't believe i never tried it's been over a year blah 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 and you're like confused like hmm. what's going on i get what you're saying like why are you guys locked up with your emotions or your you know, why why what's happening okay you don't talk to me i don't talk to you everybody's moving on with their life and then you come in yeah and i mean that's every guy is different and it can be something he dealt with in his past relationship maybe right before you maybe he has vulnerability issues mm -hmm. like it can be many different issues so we can't use him as the judging board Just, for exactly everybody mm -hmm. yeah. but men do tend to be really locked up when it comes to their emotions usually when a man usually we talked about the hunt earlier mm -hmm. when a man comes to a woman mm -hmm. he comes for a reason mm -hmm. usually now he puts his cards on the table 
as a woman with your years of experience. Without saying anything. Yeah, he doesn't even need to say anything, okay. usually. Okay. From his body language, the way he goes on, the way he's carrying on, you should be able to tell. This one is that kind of... But some women don't, can't read things like that. That's and, why we're asking and, the and, questions. And, because and, they don't and, know what you guys know. want. You think, you think men have figured out what women want? Have men figured out what, what men want? Wants. Exactly. No, men, yes. men know what men want. Come on. They men tell, are they communicate yeah. that to the woman. <laughs> we try to. We no, try. you guys don't. <laughs> we, you guys, <laughs> we, are back, we are literally back to square zero. <laughs> yeah. Because you, yeah. you're not communicating that to us. What kind of, no. okay, what, what do you want to know? What do you want to know? Say it. Say what? Say it. Let's if hear what? it. Say what exactly? Okay, what you want. Okay, give an example. Give it, exactly. Okay, a guy meets you today. I mean, if you want to get married to a woman, mm -hmm. don't you tell her, okay, I want to marry you. Not on the first day, not the first day I meet her. No. No, 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 obviously it comes up in conversation. Yeah. Like, you know, oh, I would love to spend the rest of my, my life, life with you. you. Yeah. Isn't it? Oh, yeah. what do you picture a dream wedding would be? Or mm -hmm. our dream wedding? Or where would you want us to go? Okay, like, I have a question. What you? do you people want when it comes to sex? Mm -hmm. Do you want do, do you like a girl that holds out? Do you want a girl that wants to wait until she's married? Do you want a girl that has experience? A girl that has no experience? Like what I feel do like you people different want? For yeah, it's different exactly. for everybody. Exactly. It's different, different for everybody. Different there's no there's no black and white. But what do you want? So one of the things I know that men like mostly, men love, you know, happiness, absolute happiness. That is what most men want, likes, absolute happiness. Men want women and money. Uh, men want women because it is women that we born for men. And besides the many things that you can see, enjoy there. Men want money and they want women also. That's the two fact I know I, I know all about. In general, men want a woman who is polite, who is humble, and then they want to be the head. They want a submissive woman. I, I want my woman to talk to me with full respect, being the landlord and the, the provider of everything. Men 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 would like women to talk to, to talk to them with respect. Uh, it's very nice for women to approach his uh, husband in a very happy way, uh, regardless of whatsoever happened, uh, whether there is this or that, you should continue have to make your mind smile. First of all, know what is going through outside, know what he was facing in the place of job, so then you will know how to approach him. I think men want women to talk to them in a polite way, in a respectful way. They want to be respected. So I think we women, we should try and respect men. So we should speak to them in a polite way. One of the reasons that can make man so angry to a lady is disrespect. Disrespect. One. Two, when a man, a lady keep on comparing his man to another person, we men who doesn't like that. Well, some women nag a lot. They nag. They they are not contented, can I use that word? And um, when men get home, let me use uh, a woman, a man and a woman, I mean a husband and a wife. When they get back from work, they expect their wife to welcome them home. You know, you know, sometimes they've gone through stress at work and they need a place whereby they can come to and, you know, be relaxed. So I think once they get home, we women should try and give them that, you know, all things, as in welcome them back home and just try to, you know, even the ease the tension they are bringing from work. So for us women, what is our takeaway from this? What, what should we take away from what you guys yeah. want? Like, please, if you can summarize in one sentence what you want, please. Let us know. We, we, we really I, want I, to know. Mm. There are books on these things. <laughs> I want to you can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> they're, two, they're two pages long. <laughs> and then what the women want to be like that high. <laughs> okay, I would say um, what you can take away from it is the, the, the old saying, the old Nigerian saying is the men are the head of the family and the women are the neck. Mm -hmm. So the head can't go anywhere without the neck. The neck directs the head. The neck, but you understand, but there, there is wisdom to doing all of these things. Mm -hmm. There's wisdom to carrying out all of these things. There is a fine line that you have to be able to manage, you know, in the course of your relationship, be marriage, be whatever it is. There's a fine line to be able to, you should be able to manage. And I think that a lot of times men put their cards on the table, but women read them wrong because they, they, they choose to see what they choose to see. You're, you're looking for love, you know, you, 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 you're 
desperate. All your friends have married. You are you have been bridesmaid twenty thousand times, and then mm -hmm. so the first guy that says hello to you mm -hmm. is your husband. Mm -hmm. You understand? You dash to that point before the, when the guy is still knocking at the door. You built the whole house, and the guy is just mm -hmm. you understand? Mm -hmm. So. The, man, the man's cards are on the table. It depends on how you read them, usually. You know, like a good 80% of the time depends on how you read them. So what the men want, like I said at the beginning, men want a partner. They want a support system. They want, you understand? A partner, a support system. You say, oh, that means you're babying him. It doesn't necessarily mean you're babying him. Ice has male friends who are a support system for him. He wants to come out, you understand? He wants to do something. Mm -hmm. He has the guys that he will call and will come out at the drop of a hat. Mm -hmm. That is a support system. And that, generally speaking, is what a man wants from a woman. You know, he wants to support. He wants someone he can trust, someone who's loyal. And that is, you understand? A lot of times is what we want or what we expect from our friends. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. so it's not a case of oh the man is um, expecting expecting me to baby him. No, his friends don't baby him. My friends don't baby me. You understand? Mm -hmm. But the difference between you and my friends is, my friends a lot of times will not tell me the truth necessarily because they're trying to spare my feelings. And it's a guy thing. We don't talk about this kind of things. You understand? It's not my business. You understand? But you ask that person, my significant other, I expect you to tell me the truth, but. It's the how. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. The presentation mm -hmm. is very important. These things are... So it, it seems like what men want, they're very uh, complex, but they're not. It's very simple. Very. So this way. Very. So very. this way. <laughs> he, just, he just gave you the male handbook. Right I'm now. telling you, right there. Okay. Okay. Just gave it to you. Well, thank you guys very much. Um, I can successfully say at the end of this conversation, <laughs> I still do not know. <laughs> I can successfully say that. But maybe when you guys buy this handbook, this page, you just make multiple copies, dash it to us. Because I'm begging If you at home know what men want, please help my life. Comment below in the comment section. And as always, join the Indani family. Be sure to follow us on all of our social media platforms at Indani TV. And use the hashtag Indani Real Talk. Thank you for watching.